Chile is one of the world's leading producers of lithium, the stuff that goes into all of our smartphone, laptop, and electric car batteries. And to see how lithium is pulled from the earth, I went to visit the operations of the mining giant SQM. Hello, Ashley. How are you doing? Finally here. My guide through the mines is Alejandro Butcher. He's a cheerful engineer who has spent years working in the great void. When I think of something like a lithium ion battery in a laptop or even a Tesla with thousands of batteries, it's what, like a spoonful of lithium that would go into those batteries? Uh, you would say in, a, in a, an iPad or in a cell phone, you, you could have something like a spoonful. In a car, you could have maybe 10 to 15 kilos of, of lithium. It's the nearby Andes Mountains that make these mines possible. Over millions of years, minerals from the mountains leach into the ground. Then they collect together and form huge salt beds, rich in lithium, sulfate, potassium, and boron. Companies like SQM pump water up through the beds and store the mineral-rich liquid in large ponds. From there, it's up to the sun to do its thing and evaporate away the water, leaving the minerals and salt behind. And nowhere evaporates better than Chile. Now we are heading for the first part of the pond operation. There's a lot of ponds. Those are pretty. As this is the first pond, you can see the salts forming yes. in the surface. You got salt parking spaces. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be crazy, because you already have the harsh heat and cold, and then you have all this salt just blowing around the, everything. This, this pickup trucks suffer a lot, but the other equipment, uh, we made them from a special steel that really works good here. And now we we're moving to the lithium ponds that are only two of the 44 million square meters that we have here. This pond, we made it so we can experience what is the lithium brine. When we have it in the big ponds, we, we cannot sample it. So we made this little pond. What exactly is this stuff? This is magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is the magnesium that we need to get rid of for being able to produce the lithium in the plant. Okay. Yeah. We will only send on the track the liquid. Just the liquid. Just the liquid. Okay, so this is lithium. What are the odds that some part of this is in my smartphone? I couldn't guarantee it, but it's pretty sure that almost 100% sure that part of your smartphone went through this pond at some point at in some, the past. At some point. This is smartphone, smartphone juice. Yeah. You guys must be excited that Teslas are selling well and that everybody's getting into ah, electric yeah. cars now. It's very interesting, but it, it puts a lot of pressure on us. So we will more than double our capacity probably in four years. Chile may have the largest lithium deposits in the world, but it started to fall behind countries like Australia and China when it comes to production. And in China, it's a one-stop shop with the mining and battery production happening together. This is a leap Chilean companies have been unwilling to take. Maybe you could make the batteries here in Chile. Well, for me, it would be excellent, but the company, we're experts in hydrogeology, we're experts in mining, we're experts in producing lithium. If we put us to produce batteries, we're probably not going to do it well. Things have been extra tense lately between the mines and the Chilean government. The feds have put strict quotas on lithium production, and they've also been trying to act tough and save face after some politicos were accused of taking bribes from the mines. Environmentalists aren't huge fans of the mines either. They say that water is being sucked from nearby lagoons that feed these flocks of stunning flamingos. What we do here has absolutely no impact to the flamingos, but we're still responsible for what's happening with them. 
we need to do counting of the flamingos uh, every year. They identify them by the feathers on the tail, so they, they can differentiate every flamingo. The miners here work for a week and then take a week off because of the dry, hot, salty conditions. But there are some on-the-job perks. The sunsets here are every day amazing. You have all these different colors that only women know, the names, yeah. <laughs> uh, every day, and you don't get tired of that. It's really beautiful. Alejandro has a point. Not so much about the colors that only women apparently know, but about the beauty of the mines. These odd marvels make the modern world run. Let Tesla's flamingo breeding program begin.